Yo, what's cracking everyone? I am Mr. Former Simpson. Thank you for tuning in once again. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more content just like this. And with that said, let's jump right into the Jordan M12. First though, let me explain what a performance overview is. It's running through the tech implemented in a particular pair of sneakers. You can predict a lot just by being familiar with the different kinds of tech used. Of course, it isn't as thorough as a full performance review, but those take at least 20 plus hours of actually hooping on court to do them the right way. So an overview is a great way to give you an idea of what you can expect performance wise without having to wait all that time until we do a full review. Just wanted to clear that up though, let's talk about the M12. Retail is 135 bucks and these are available right now, so I will put a link in the description for anyone who wants to grab a pair. Now as far as the fit goes, these are true to size and are very comfortable. Something I noticed right away when I put them on is these four interior foam pads. I really liked how they felt and I also think it's gonna be a pretty good look for support and lockdown. Webbed lacing setup will help with lockdown as well. That's something that gets overlooked a lot, but how a shoe laces up and the ability for them to stay tight is crucial. How many times have you been hooping and every 10 minutes you gotta relace your sneakers? That's whack. The upper is basically mesh, which I really like. I don't know, ever since hooping in the Jordan 29, it's been tough to hoop in anything that isn't a primarily mesh upper, to be honest, which is weird because I used to prefer the stiffer, more durable materials, not anymore. I love the fact that you can get support without being restricted, and that's what mesh provides. Something I know will be awesome is the flight plate tech they used for the cushioning system. For me as a player, impact protection is paramount above all else, and I know that this tech is gonna be good money. It's the same as the Jordan 29. There's a couple little differences, but the overall tech is the same. It really allows you to tap into that zoom air, and I don't think there's a better setup for maintaining court feel and giving you that impact protection. It's just excellent. Overall, I expect these to be very good. I don't think they'll be better than the 29, but very good. I like the M11 a lot, and I think these are gonna be a slight upgrade, so I'm a fan. We'll see though, I will definitely let you know how it goes when I really put them on court for an extended amount of time. And there you have it, the Jordan M12. Stay tuned for the full performance review. Also stay tuned because we got the Kyrie 2 and the Kobe 11. Got those performance reviews coming soon. Those are almost finished. Thank you for watching. Not too much else to talk about right now. So until next time, Mr. Former Simpson, I'm out.